The ABC Project is an early childhood intervention that was conducted some 30 years ago that gave what essentially is enriched preschool and access to health care to uh, disadvantaged children in one area in North Carolina. It was evaluated by the method of randomized trials, so it had a gold standard quality. Some people were assigned to a treatment group, some people were assigned to a control group. These people have been followed for at least 35 years. The group working with us pioneered in providing very detailed medical exams on both the treatment and control groups in their mid-30s, which revealed substantial differences in terms of their health and the risk factors for later life disease. We found that one in four males in the control group was affected by what's called metabolic syndrome. This refers to a syndrome in which there's co-occurring obesity and hypertension. This syndrome is associated with increases in heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. On the contrary, no men in the treatment group, 0%, had metabolic syndrome. When we look at conditions that are predictive of coronary disease, for example, blood pressure, systolic and diastolic, we find differences for males in the treatment group that are substantial when we compare that with the control group. And we also find substantial differences for prehypertension in females. So there's a lot of work on trying to create treatments for diseases, for exposures. But nonetheless, there's a lot of scope which is not being discussed now about how early health can create later health, how early education can produce later health, how we can create a capacity which produces much less burden on the healthcare system and much more promise for the American economy.